come back to JSTU. Today we are going to deal about how to analyze surface modeling or the components of surfaces that is slope aspect contour and head shadows uh, by Arkema Park JS using raster data DM. So let us first open uh, Arkemap. So we can say that this is a description of the study area using ArcGIS or using JS. These are the basic parameters that are we are, that we are going to discuss or uh, describe uh, our study area. So let us add uh, the DM data. Here is DM data. Here is DM data. Then simply we are going to uh, we are directly go to Arc Toolbox, then Spatial Analysis Tools. Then if you go to Spatial Analysis Tools, you will get uh, you will get a surface. Then after after surface, you will get uh, these all uh, surface parameters, aspect, contour, contour, list, contour uh, with barriers, curvature. Cut field, hill shade, observer reference, so slope, view shade, and all these uh, surface parameters are their own purpose and their own applications. But for this time on, for the time being, let us focus only on four surface parameters. So let us click on aspect. As you can see, as aspect indicates that the, uh, the orientation of the surface area to the directions. So the input raster must be the DM data, remember always. So the output raster means location or the folder that are, uh, you are going to save it but in my case let me accept the defaults okay this processing let us wait okay this is the aspect map you can make some amendments on on uh, on symbology for example, on display, let us make some uh, amendments. For example, transparency, let us add transparency uh, to uh, this. If you see uh, this, it is uh, pretty good. Okay. If not pretty good, you can change to, okay, let us return to its originality so this is a this is a, a aspect map of the aspect map of uh, a given area or our study area you can see the orientation uh, 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 the east west the north east uh, uh, orientation uh, of the surface of uh, uh, your area, your study area. The second and most important thing that we are going to uh, map is that the contour. Click on contour. Uh, let, let me check this uh, DM data and let me uncheck this aspect. Then the input raster must be the DM data always. So the contour interval, let me uh, make the contour interval to 200 meters, 200 meters. Okay, uh, accept all other things. Remember that this output feature class means that the folder that you are going to uh, save your uh, outputs, that your outputs, but let me accept the defaults at, uh, as I told you or as I made earlier. So, okay.
Okay, this is the contour interval of uh, my study area. So right click or double click on contour and let us make some amendments or some changes on symbology in this case quantities contour so this is uh, this is this is this is uh, yeah this is the contour in the contour the contour map of uh, the study area or the area so we can uh, label it as for example label label all features by what you label contour uh, times new roman times new roman enter let us make the font to 14 apply okay yes as you can see here this is the contour map of the study area so let me uh, make some uh, amendments on decimals and uh, uh, numbers okay so right click on this then format labels number of decimal places must be two okay apply okay okay number of decimal places let me even minimize it yeah i don't want decimal places just i uh, want uh, the whole numbers only the whole numbers so this is a uh, this is the uh, contour uh, map of uh, uh, the area zoom to layer then as you can see it is uh, the contour map of the study area the next uh, important uh, surface map that we are going to map is that the hill shed double click on hill shed then the input raster must be again the dm data again i accept the i accept the uh, default path but you, you need to go to select the paths along this side then uh, other thing is remain as it is okay okay let me uncheck the contour lines the contour lines So our hill shed map has been generated perfectly. So uh, some uh, changes or some uh, amendments can be done uh, here. Yes, this is a hill shed map of the study area. So uh, what is remaining is that our final map will be the slope map. Let me generate the slope map of the study area. Click on uh, slope then the input raster must be the dm data uh, the output raster class is that the uh, path or the directory or the folder that you are going to see your output but as i as i did uh, in other uh, maps i accept the defaults so slope the output measurement let me let me make to the to percentize so this is there is some problem okay yeah it is uh, corrected so it is processing yeah good good okay Okay, let us make some amendments. 
For example, this is a uh, numbers. Let us uh, make four math layers. After this one places two. Let us make two two. Okay, now play. Yes, as you can see here, it is auto three hundred. So let us minimize the uh, class levels to five. Yes, apply. Okay. Yes. So perfect. We are already generating uh, four types of uh, maps that expressed surface terrains for a given area. These maps are contour maps, slope maps, hill shade maps, and aspect maps. Thank you for watching.